Hi guys, I had an interesting theory regarding the Marvel and Fox movies and where they are headed into. All these movies seem to be heading into outer space in the year 2018 and 2019. This is X-Men Dark Phoenix, Captain Marvel, Avengers Infinity War, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5. I mean, I can go on and on. Now, they've announced that Dark Phoenix is going to take place 10 years after X-Men Apocalypse. This would put the movie in about 1993. Now, over the weekend, Marvel announced that Captain Marvel will be uh, taking place in the early 1990s as well. So the X-Men have never came out in theaters outside of the summertime. So I thought that was pretty interesting, number one, that they're putting the movie out in November. Now, Captain Marvel is set to come out in March of 2019. That means this movie is coming out four months after X-Men. So these movies are coming out back to back. Now, Rogue is said to possibly be in X-Men Dark Phoenix because there was actors who read for the part and all that kind of stuff. Now, as we know, the character of Rogue in the comic books, she gets her, her elevated powers, uh, you know, the super strength and the flight. She gets that from Miss Marvel in the comic books. And I thought it would be very interesting that if they somehow shoehorned Rogue into this movie and that was one of the ways she got her powers was through Captain Marvel. Now, it is just a theory, but it's just a lot of clues that lead to, you know, both of these movies coming out in the same time uh, uh, era. So like, if they announce that Captain Marvel takes place in 1993, the same year that X-Men takes place in, this is the perfect opportunity for uh, to make those worlds collide. And why would Marvel just all of a sudden choose the early 1990s of all? to display Captain Marvel. They have the scroll uh, war that's gonna be going on in Captain Marvel. And as we know, they're shapeshifters. They can look like anyone. So they literally can do a lot with this stuff. And as we know, uh, the Phoenix needs to be stopped because she destroys planets of other different races. And uh, Captain Marvel is literally about other races. And if you have the she are in the Imperial Guard in X-Men Dark Phoenix, that's other races. So. Um, tell me what your thoughts on that. Do you think Captain Marvel and Dark Phoenix will actually somehow be connected? I know Fox and Marvel still aren't playing together with the movies publicly, but if you notice, Fox had nothing to say this past weekend at San Diego Comic-Con. All they did was release the X-Men Gifted trailer. They talked about like Kingsman and other films, but they had nothing to say about Legion or the New Mutants or X-Men um, uh, Dark Phoenix. Um, or even X-Men Gifted. It was just a trailer. It was kind of a letdown. So all that put together, what are your thoughts?